Hey, it's Mike with Brief Reviews. Today I just wanted to go over a possible fix, I guess, <laughs> um, from Samsung on the S24 Plus screen issue. Last month, this is the S22 Ultra, and this is the S24 Plus. <laughs> so last month I ordered, pre-ordered, the S24 Plus and S24 Ultra to see which one I liked the best, <laughs> to return one I didn't want. And they both came with bad screens. Well, yesterday I ordered another S24 Plus, and the screen works fine. If not a little more clear. So this one looks fine. One YouTuber said you can go into your settings, scroll all the way down, and enable your developer options. And due to that, you go to, to About, actually, yeah, About, Software, and then you just click on Baseband. Okay, scratch that. <laughs> Click on build number, enter your password, <clears throat> developer mode turned on, now you go to the bottom of your regular settings screen and you'll see it there. So click that. So right now it is off, so I do not have this option set. So go all the way down to where it says drawing, section drawing. And then you can go to contrast. Right now I have it set on the standard. And the screen clarity is on par, a little better, just less color saturation than the S22 Ultra, which has increased color saturation. So you can go ahead and click high, click done. Go ahead and reclose everything. Reopen your browser. and maybe a little more clarity. So I think it is a hardware issue. Pre-order phones came with washed out screens, washed out clarity, washed out color. The brightness is less. I'm still wondering if my S22 Ultra is still brighter than this newer S24 Plus. <laughs> One month newer, I guess. So yeah, I would suggest if you have a pre-order phone and it came with the washed out screen to send it back if you can and reorder this. If you're past your return window, go ahead and enable your developer options and increase your contrast. It does seem to help a little bit. If you go to your settings, display, screen mode, you can see that the S22 Ultra, I mean, it's a pretty good change when you click Vivid. So even on the S24 current month version, I guess, and do know that this has the same January 1st, 2024 software as my last one that I received last month. So there has been no software update yet. There's supposed to be a new update coming at the end of this month, according to Universe Ice on X. He somehow knows a lot of the details of what Samsung's up to, and he posted on his X platform, or on his X account. So you can go check out his account if you want. Um, so he says there's a new update coming for the S24 Plus, and when you click Vivid, there will actually be three three vivid settings. So it apparently will increase the color saturation of this phone to match your, your other Samsungs. And so yeah, so that has not come yet. So it's the original software, but as you can see, this S24 Plus is looking fine. I mean, a little bit less color still, but I think the reduced color contrast 
has actually increased the clarity a little bit more. So, oh, I do have mine on a little bit warm. We'll put it on cool. Cool. Warm, I don't know if you can tell on the camera. A little bit. S22 Ultra. Warm, cool. So you can see the increased color there. Sometimes though, like the blue, because it's brighter blue, it looks more clear, but yeah, I think that's just the increased color popping out. So, cool, blue. I'm trying to more match, more match? <laughs> trying to match more the S32 Ultra, so I had it on a little bit warmer. You got your advanced settings, those are the same. So hopefully the new update will give me the the deeper colors. I do like the deeper colors of the S22, S23, S21s. So, but for now, this is your fix. Add, go into your developer options, increase that. It does help a little bit. But the biggest fix, I think, is just returning the phone with the really bad washed out screen and ordering another one. If you can, like I said, I waited a month later to order this one. Um, I used the S24 Ultra and the Plus last month for a week and I just couldn't accept the, the colors and the washed out clarity. So I sent them both back and was hoping for the software update to be better, but already this phone came in better than the last one. So yeah, so hopefully with the software update it'll be even more, more clear maybe and more bright. Um, sometimes I think the brightness still seems brighter on the S22 Ultra. And these are supposed to be the brightest phones I think on the market. So yeah, anyway, there you have it. So sort of a fix, not yet totally fixed. Um, hopefully with this February update, software update, um, maybe we can have the same settings as we, the same color, saturations, brightness, <laughs> or more bright that we had on the last one. So let's see, let's go back to when you, when you click Viv, natural and vivid, you can tell there's not much difference. A little more vivid. So if I could double that vividness in the software update at the end of this month, that would be great. Let's go back to the S22 Ultra. So vivid, natural. You can see it's quite a bit of difference. So they probably could add some more in this one. In the, in the update. So yeah, so hopefully they do that option, that universe ice, ice universe, however you go. Um, universe ice on X says there will be three different vivid modes. Instead of just the one, you'll have three you can choose between. So yeah, cool. Anyway, until next time, please subscribe, refer your friends, and talk to you soon. See ya.